Okay, so I'm gonna open up a new project. And uh, I'm gonna title it. In this case, I'm gonna work on the Jim Gilbert file. And I'm gonna browse to We don't have a Jim Gilbert folder yet, so I'm going to create one here. Select folder. So that's going to be where it's going to be saved. So you can see right here, it's saving to the Jim Gilbert folder. And the name of the um, project files is Jim Gilbert. Click OK. And now I've got a blank set of screens. We're in the editing mode. And I'm going to um, find a Jim Gilbert movie file. So you just double click in this blank box here. And um, I'm going to go to where your files are, which is going to in speech of course spring 21 video interviews, Jim Gilbert. And I'm just going to take, I could open up all three files. Actually, that's that's the best practice is just open them all up. So you just hit the shift key if you're in on a PC. Open them all up. And I'm not going to pay any attention to the video log. I'm not going to try to. Uh, get the exact right spot. I'm just going to grab some content so you see it. Uh, it's Jim Gilbert. Actually, I will go to the right spot. Might as well do it correctly. So Jim Gilbert 1 starts at 7.02. And the words in are, I grew up in Argentina. So I'm gonna drag this little button. Over to seven and this is that FIU commuter computer with screwy sounds. So um, um, just keep that in mind of any discipline. I grew up. So I'm going to mark it in. Um, the out is 850. Beautiful music to listen to. Is the outgoing dialogue. Eight fifty. Filled with you know, pretty things to look at and beautiful music to listen to. Okay, I'm going to mark it out. I'm going to drag it down to the timeline. While it's highlighted, I'm going to hit Control D on a PC or Command D on a Mac. And that act that put transitions at either end. And in this blank space now, I'm going to go over and uh, put in the text. some stuff around here. So I'm going to graphics. And this gives me the graphics tools. Sorry, I got to move stuff around. 
to um, be able to see this. So if I just click on in the middle here, under edit, it's gonna show me the parameters of the text. The default that came up on a PC is to HOMA for the, um, for the font. And I want the font to be Arial um, regular. So I'm just gonna type AR and Arial come up, click on regular. And based on our, what we discovered when we did these tech tests, the, um, the regular, the size for the regular font should be 30. So right here, I'm gonna put in 30. This is exactly what you should do unless it doesn't look right when you do it, hopefully it will. And now I'm gonna type, I'm gonna um, copy and paste from the, from the video log, the, um, Sorry, I gotta move stuff around from Zoom. So the question was, where did you grow up? And what was your earliest memory of art of any discipline? If I click on this, it's gonna appear up here. And that's where you should take the text from. So highlight all this text, copy it, either hit Control C or on a PC or Command C on a Mac. And then go back to um, Premiere and hit Control V or on a PC or Command V on a Mac. And there's your text. Now you can see it looks tiny, but when it showed up in YouTube, it was the right size. So, um, I'm not exactly sure where the um, where the line break should be, um, but what I'm going to do is pull this over so it's like within about a half inch of the left side border, and keep in mind that down here the alignment is left aligned left aligned text. So I'm going to put the break in um, right here. And I, I put the uh, cursor right next to the M. So I'm gonna backspace and then hit enter and now I'm gonna to go to this arrow, uh, this pointer tool and click on the align, the alignment icons. So it's gonna align it up and down vertically and left and right. So this should be centered on the page. So that's my text. I wanna make sure that it can be read in the time that the text box created, that it automatically created. So um, I'm gonna play this. Actually, I'm gonna go back to editing. Oh, the other thing I forgot to do here is set up a transition on this block of text. So I'm gonna hit Control D on a PC, Control uh, Command D on a Mac. Bring it all the way over to zero. I'm gonna play it. And I'm gonna read the text and see if I have enough time to read it. Where did you grow up? And what's your earliest memory of art of any discipline? One, two. So I'm gonna stretch this out just a little bit so it plays a little bit longer. You know, when I made the stuff that you see that I showed you for Lenore Anthony on the test webpage. 
uh, I used a different computer. So I hope this turns out okay, because that text looks really small. Oh, the one other element we need is we need the watermark logo. So I'm gonna go back to graphics mode. And I'm gonna type in the word in speech -o. I, oops, I N S P I C I O. And uh, this is gonna come up automatically because I already had Arial selected. So I'm gonna change it to chunk five. And again, I just have to type, oops, type, C-H, huh, all right, it's jump five, okay. And the, the point size is still 30, which in my experiment was the point size that worked the best. Oh, I see, this is, Let's see what happened here. Let me. Okay. So now it's it. This is the logo. It's in the right size, hopefully. And I'm going to pull this on top of the video as you recall. Now I'm gonna pull the video up over and abut it against the opening text. And um, I'm going to take the uh, logo font and pull it over to the front of the video. So when you see those little triangles appear, that means it's aligned. And then I'm gonna pull it to the end no line also. And now when I pull this over, you can see my, um, oh, the one thing I forgot to do is set the transparency. So I'm gonna double click on this and this checkerboard is the transparency. And I said uh, 50%, so I'm making it 50%. And this looks really weird. <laughs> compared to um, what was happening the other day when we were doing this. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna pull this over. I got a feeling that this stuff's gonna come up very small and I have no idea why. Um, so I'm gonna say, do a save as, And I'm gonna make it um, uh, Jim Gilbert one B one for version one. Sorry, I gotta move some stuff around. Okay, save. And now um, going back to the editing mode, which you have to be in in order to export the file. And this timeline should be highlighted in, blue, in the blue box. And now I'm gonna export. Export media. get this dialog box. The only thing you got to change is the output name. I'm going to make it Jim Gilbert 1v1. Okay, now I'm going to export I'm really fearful for how this is gonna show up. Uh, 
Okay, now this will have exported to um, on my computer. Documents, Adobe, Premiere Pro is 14.0, the Jim Gilbert folder. Oops. And I don't see our movie. That's really weird. Uh, it might be in the Adobe Premiere autosave, like it might be in that folder, because sometimes it happens to me. Oh. No. That is really weird. Let me try this again. That's where it saved the project file. I've only done this about 10,000 times and I've never had this happen before. There it is. Oh, it went into a net in store. Okay, so here it is. Now that looks to me like it's too small. Grew up in Argentina. In this looks too small. Um, we moved there when I was. So I don't know why this is different, why it changed today from something else. Uh, I know that my FIU computer gets updated periodically. Um, and so maybe this is part of an automatic update. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna experiment with different size text until I get it right. And that's the same thing you should do. I'm, I'm showing you what, what it should look like and see if you can hit that goal. So you're gonna to have to do some experimenting if it doesn't come out the way it's supposed to the first time. So let's do that. Maybe this is going to happen to you today the same way it just happened to me. So I'm going to um, highlight all.